Hello, what's up? I'm busy talking about the parkhead crisis in this ludicrous land called South Africa and how it is that you need to stop calling it a crisis. How about you, like, call a spade a spade, okay? I don't know why things, conditions, lighting just went all dark all over. What would happen if I left like I did earlier and then come back? Will it light up again? Ugh, whatever. Look, who cares, man? Like, hang that up as long as you can hear my voice. Yes, I'm busy talking about how it is that this is no longer a, uh, what do you call it? It's no longer a crisis, guys. Uh, it's, it's, a, it's a dystopia and a general state of being. Uh, everything is in flux. Everything is awry. This is a new normal. This situation is not going anywhere. And all of this international disaster, frankly, is not even just South Africa. It commenced in 2019, later end, entering into 2020. Like, literally, the whole, like, gangster planet went on, I mean, goodness, I keep watching this news channel uh, from India. Uh, what is it called? Gravitas? Weon? Or whatever. Don't really know the real name. I keep watching them. They're very anti-China, okay? Not really sure what, what the politics are there in India and their issues with China, but they're definitely very anti-China. That news network has got some big problems with China. It's almost like when you watch that news network, it's like you're watching CNN, okay? But like from India type establishment thing not just cnn but even fox news just the issues with china right uh so they keep on calling the corona virus the wuhan virus on gravitas or whatever and i'm like whoa um you've decided to coin it as a wuhan virus like you have decided that that's where it comes from okay um right oh and they highlight over and over and over and over and over and over and over again about how it is that the, the, the that virus came from Wuhan. They literally call it the Chinese virus or the Wuhan virus. Okay, very well. Um, so they've obviously got an agenda that they're trying to push in their land. They're trying to propagate something. They're trying to... Um, what is the word? Uh, there is a... Um, not, I'm not looking for agenda, but propag propaganda. Yeah, they have got some kind of ideal that they're trying to f cause uh, information and the ideal to cause in the people on the ground that watch that channel. That is very anti-China. They've got a very anti-China sentiment. And my thing is, it is convenient to blame everything on that superpower chilling there in the East. It is convenient to blame them for the coronavirus and say that they brought this disaster on the earth, that medical disaster on the planet. It is convenient to say that and then act as if though in and of yourself as a country, India, in and of yourself as a country, America, in and of yourself as a country, South Africa, you did not impend upon your countries. Some kind of disaster. Like, it's getting so dark. I don't know what's going on. They're acting as if though they did not bring other kinds of disasters in their countries. Never mind coronavirus. Fine. Maybe it's the Wuhan virus. Who cares? Who cares where it came from? Who cares whether or not it was done as a gain of function research experimentation and laboratory in Wuhan. Who cares? Because bottom line is there are other things that came upon us around the same time globally. Globally. There are other disasters that came on the earth that aren't medical in nature that have like literally it appears as if though there are a few one or two or three or five people that are running the stupid show. Do you understand? That are elitist and globalist in their nature. They are gargantuan, huge, uh, financially. They have got delusions of grandeur. They have got megalomaniacal fantasies about running the world together as a one big fat chunky kumbaya ring unit of randoms. And these buffoons, do you understand? Lighting has just gotten so incredibly scant. I'm kind of hoping that it's going to improve uh, when I check the videos out. I'm hoping that my phone is just fading because, you know, it's just what the phone does. Um, I don't know, whatever. But, like, the lighting is still cool. Yeah, no, these people are acting as if, though, China is the only sort of kind of big, fat, chunky bully of everybody on the earth that made the world sick in 2019 slash 2020. Uh, but even if China did make the whole world sick, it doesn't, like, I don't care where that thing came from. It came from somewhere on the planet, okay? Uh, bottom line is, around the same time, the whole rest of the world's worth of uh, countries had some kind of strange disaster that could be conspiratorially at a minimum, but factually at a maximum and ideally also at a maximum, conjured up by those countries' governments. Something like, the, like a creeper that came up upon all of us in the world because of governmental irresponsibility. It's like they are forcing the one world agenda 
on every single person by making it look as if though disasters are just cow oh, there we go lights camera action oh and then there's the lights action hollywood except no not hollywood that's babylon these disasters came on the rest of all of us in a sense on the ground do you understand literally we're innocent don't look at my face it's innocent okay all these innocents on the ground were impended upon by hails of bullets do you understand coming from some elitist corner of the world that's full of cobwebs because it's a freaking scary big fat chunky spider since i've got arachnophobia okay they brought on some scary agenda from some upper surface and it can be tied back if you are rational or reasonable in any way you can successfully tie back whatever might be your current national crisis to your country your governments like everybody's governments are vomiting blood when yesterday there were healthy kids in the school playground it's like but why aren't you doing this right all of a sudden you look like a terminally ill patient it's like you've been diagnosed with some like manifesting into you ending up a decrepit like snailed up coiled up man when before you were an athlete it's like you've been diagnosed with that where yesterday you were jumping up and down on a balance beam because you were a gymnast or whatever the way that you are acting you acting like somebody has given you career shattering news about your health that's what happened with our governments from 2019 to 2020 they just stopped performing they just stopped performing literally they just stopped performing almost as if though they gave up on life like imagine being given i was watching i'm busy watching good doctor there is this woman there she's a pilot right and she loves her job blah blah and she just got diagnosed with parkinson's disease and so was told that she can't fly anymore even though she still has a whole bunch of mobility she was told by her doctors that she has got reasonable mobility for at least a couple of years to come five to seven years she can still move around get groceries on her own all that jazz but she's not going to be able to fly an airplane and because her her career was the be all and end all for her because it was the only thing that she was basically living for she suddenly got all suicidal she was like please discharge me from the hospital i don't want to go home i want to go home sorry i don't even want to take treatment her daughter had to like talk her out of that situation for her it was like it's over i might as well just even though i've got five ten more years of mobility in my body i might as well just go and end my life now since i can't be a pilot anymore our countries are acting like they have just gotten that like that kind of bad news they've just been told that we get you a pilot but you can't fly and but you do however have five years left of mobility and so they have literally just thrown in the thrown in the freaking towel they've packed up a eh, bags and they have gone on right ahead to graduate disaster in our countries at an, a height an epitome they have gone on to magnify and climax all the disasters in one sitting as they possibly can and so they went from performing to non-performing in just a matter of months in just a matter of months it's like they got a directive from someone the proverbial doctor in this case is some globalist elitist dark satanic agenda probably in some stupid ugly room full of goat's blood and human sacrifice blood from blood of babies and they were like things are happening in a funny state they're taking too slow they're taking too long they're taking too long so you national global governments y'all need to start destroying your countries but be gradual please you've got five breathing years left but then national governments decided that they're going to make those five breathing years like five months so now all of our countries have been thrown into disarray disarray my light is fading over here i was getting all excited about having it and now it's fading and all of a sudden it's going to be dark and when it gets dark i'm going to stop talking so this might as well be my final part i don't know what in the world is going on in this country but i have got a conspiratorial enough brain to gauge that it's got five years to live but it's already thrown in the towel like that woman with parkinson's disease and so it has already started underperforming in just two weeks next part